Hello, Mixed Nut Cases and Dog Days of Podcasting listeners. This is Nick Joss, and this is my next travel day. I am talking to you from Chicago O'Hare Airport. I've already done my first leg. My next leg is going to take me back home to Ottawa, where tech will be waiting for me. It's always nice to be picked up from the airport. So, had a great night with my friend, Baron last night. We had a good time. She ran into some traffic and what should have taken not that long (laughs) took a very long time and so she ended up getting to me uh, close to seven and so we hung out in the hotel room for a little while and then we uh, went out and got some food and there was this uh, place that my the uh, customers I was working with uh, had told me about and they said, oh, if you're looking for a vegetarian or you're looking for a place to take somebody, this is a really fun spot and it's a, a place with lots of different food so you can choose from different places. And I said, oh, that, that sounds really fun. And it's an old hangar uh, from Long Beach Airport and they've just kind of converted it into a food court and a mall and a really neat space. So we went there and so many people had these adorable dogs and Baron was just losing it um, and they were all friendly and they all liked pets and all their owners said yep they love it that's why they're here so she got to pet the doggies when they weren't sniffing around for food on the floor because of course dogs Um, but we had a nice little chat got to sit outside I tell you uh, California they, they have no idea their humidity nothing their 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 mosquito level uh while i keep hearing that they have them i have yet to run into one and it might just be because i was in long beach and they're not really in that area or i'm not in areas where they're breeding but it is nothing like the east coast or even ontario because i could be standing in a parking lot far away from water and i'm gonna get absolutely eaten um, we've got all of our windows boarded up, but every time you come in and out, you know, there's a chance that somebody, some bug's going to get in there, and um, I get eaten up in the middle of the night. So, yeah, no, they, they, they have no idea how lucky they are, <laughs> um, just comparatively. But, uh, no, we had a really nice time, and we talked into the wee hours. Now, while I was waiting for her to come down, um, I was getting some work done, and there was a panicky email saying, everybody, we need help. We need anyone who can help, all hands on deck. Um, We had a really big customer session uh, where we had multiple consultants on site doing their presentations. And they did such a great job. What the customer asked for is they wanted wanted a condensed uh, 60-minute video or and a uh, 30 to 45-minute video of... um, pretty much the basics for anybody that missed that wonderful day, that conference day. And all of the consultants that had done it were on planes. They were traveling. All of the people connected were on planes and traveling. And the one person who said, you know, at the, the, the session said, of course I'll do it. I'll do it when I get back, uh, you know, on Monday. And then I guess the customer had said, no, we really need it by Sunday. So, (laughs) because I guess they needed to use it on Monday. So, they asked, who can help? Well, I said, my friend is in traffic. This is pretty easy. I can help. I volunteered. And then I get told, I'll send you the details. Okay, I thought I knew what it was. But let's, you know, I I clarified. I said, it's just, we're just doing this and this. And they said, I'll send you the details. And then I wait for the details. And then it's, we want you to use the same decks that they use. So we need the decks that they use. Well, they're all on planes right now. So I'm, I'm looking around. I'm trying to find it. I find what I think are the decks. And then I get a confirmation. Uh, someone sends me one from their phone um, from the airport. And I said, great, that's awesome. Can you send me the editable link so I can just kind of edit it around? I get it all set up. I do my little tweaks. Um, things are going well, but this is taking time. So in the time that I thought I had to record these, I did not. So I had that wonderful time with my friend. And then as soon as she left, I immediately, I had started one of them. And I, when she came, I 
I stopped the recording, I paused it, I was using Clip Champ because they don't need my face, and I was just doing, you know, screen share and all of that, and so I uh, paused it, and I was able to pick it up, and then um, I finished up those recordings, and whenever you do recordings, it always takes longer than what you anticipate, because if you mess up, you have to redo it, certain things, and you know, it's not the same as when you're doing something live, so... I go through and I get it all done and it's about, oh, I don't know, 3.30ish when I'm done and I had to leave for the airport by 5. So I said, this is silly. I'm not going to go to bed or anything. So I pack everything up. I get everything packed. I check out. I head to the airport. As I'm driving, the car tells me there's low tire pressure and I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, I don't really feel a difference and I don't want to get off right now because I'm on the freeway and the signs I'm seeing are for Crenshaw Boulevard and it is the middle of the night. I'm not going to do that. So I just drove until I got to the airport and I pulled into a um, gas station, did my refill and everything, and then returned the car and, uh, you know, got to the airport and um, had the longest TSA check-in. Now I had um, pre- reserved a check-in and it said you know if you get there early it's okay you can just come to our line but I couldn't find it so I just went through the regular and I was like all right I guess they'll tell me where it is I could never find it um so I went through the general the um they were not very nice there they were yelling at everybody it was in a way talking down like all you people are so stupid you have to do this you have to do this and it's like Yeah, but if you just keep yelling it and yelling at people, nobody's listening to you because, of course, everybody's not doing what they're saying because they're tuning them out. It's it's not an effective way of communicating. So I go through TSA. I finally get to uh, my terminal. I grab a little nibble. I take well, first I take my meds, then I grab a little nibble, then I sit down and I nap for a little while. I just sit. I'm sitting there and I'm napping. Um, I got on my flight. I was in the middle seat, and I'm afraid I'm in the middle seat on my next flight, but that's okay. Um, I was so tired, it was very easy to sleep, except the person next to me needed to use a washroom four times. In a five-hour flight, he needed to use the washroom four times, and I am not upset. I am very sympathetic. I just, he told me that it's because of medication he's on, And all I could think is, if you're on medication, why did you book a window seat? Why not book an aisle seat? Uh, The window seat is a preferred seat. Why not? It it didn't make any sense to me. Um, The other thing that never makes sense to me is, why is it that the aisle seat is always the person to sit down first? Then the window seat shows up. That, uh, sorry, then the middle seat shows up. Then the window seat. It always seems to be that way. I really feel like if you are a single traveler and you have an aisle seat, uh, or if you have a window seat, you should be uh, on that pr- earlier boarding. And then if you're in an aisle seat, but no, that's not how. I, I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, the 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 airplane gods know better than me. But um, so just little nigglings there and um, I was unable to move. It was very cramped. My knees were against the seat in front of me. I'm not a very tall person either and I'm more tall in the torso so I can't imagine what somebody taller like Crazy Joe or Gary is doing in one of these seats. I just... hmm. Anyway, uh, half of the flight when I get up I'm like, oh my gosh, my knees hurt really bad. And I'm just kind of grinning and bearing it. And then at one point I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should just ask for some ice and put my ice on my knees because it just, I don't know, they're really sore for some reason. And then I cast my eye out the window and realize, oh, we're starting to land. I'll be fine. Now that we have landed, um, my, I have, I got a, a text from the airline telling me it would take me 20 minutes to get to my gate which it did. It is 20 minutes of walking because you have to change terminals and no, there's no shuttle like at Newark. So a 20 minute walk, uh, but that was okay because I have about four hours before the plane is going to take off. I scoped out a place to eat. I got a little bit of airport sushi, you know, did all the things. And now let me look at my uh, 
thing. I have had so many texts from the airline. Uh, your gate has changed. Your gate has changed. Your gate has changed back to the original. Your gate has uh, changed again. Um, and now it is delayed because of an operational issue that required a change to another aircraft. We'll get you on your way. Oh, now it departs instead of at 6.30, it departs at 7.10. Okay. Sorry for the delay. And I expect to get, your gate has changed, your gate has changed, your gate has changed. Um, I'm not upset. It's just, it's just funny to me. Uh, a little delay like that. It's not even an hour. Not that big a deal. Um, after the first travel day of this season and taking, I can't remember, was it 26 hours to travel? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> little delays, no big deal. Nothing's as bad as that day. So I am going to find my gate. I am going to hang out there and I'm probably going to try to post this and then maybe get a little sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> Nutty Bites is produced by Nimlas Studios under a Creative Commons Attribution No Commercial Non-Derivatives 3.0 International License. That means you can't change it without my permission. You can share it and send it to your friends. Just link back to me, my site, and everything. We live at nimlas.org, which has links to everything social media, including facebook.com slash group slash Nutty Bites and patreon.com slash nukejoss or call 347-Nutty42.